Now it's fairly easy to be a woman philanthropist, you know, if your family has means, you know, to take up your spare time. But our great example of working class nobility is Aunt Clara Brown. One of the most generous souls of all. She was a former slave. I grew up in the South where she taught herself to read and taught herself to read the Bible. She was a very devout woman and her owner gave her her freedom. He was so impressed with her. Of course, what are you gonna do? You're nearly 60 years old, but then she hears about the gold rush going on in 1859. Well, she approaches a wagon train of Teamsters, 25 freighters, and asks them if they would take her to the Colorado Gold Rush. They said, okay, if you wash our clothes and cook our meals for all 25 of us, you can come along with us to Colorado. And so she did for 25 men. But since she was African-American, she had to walk the 600 miles. She gets to Denver in around 1860, 61, when Central City is booming. And so she joins the hordes headed up to Central City. And there, Aunt Clara Brown makes her living the hardest possible way, washing the red flannel long underwear of these miners. As you know, men by themselves would never bother to wash their clothes. Should I describe the filth, the vermin, the body fluids, the smell, the state of these long johns? She charged 50 cents for an article of clothing, but she knew what they were doing. They were always out there panting for gold. And so she would save all the water in the sand in her wash basin and had a little sluice box behind her laundry. And she'd run it through and extract gold. She saves that money and helps build the St. James Methodist Church, a great landmark in Central City to this day. And to their credit, St. James puts on there a plaque saying Aunt Clara Brown helped to build this. She also saved enough money to build some real estate up in Central City and then takes it upon herself to go back south to try to find her husband and her children. Well, she only could find some extended family newly freed from slavery, but she'll bring 26 of them back to Colorado. And of course, this time, no one walked. Everyone had a wagon to ride in. Spends her life in uh, doing good work for the church and also uh, the kindergartens and dies and is honored the first woman and the first black to be admitted to the Pioneer Society. And there's a quite a big ceremony for her when she's buried at Riverside Cemetery as a big-hearted, generous giver.